Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, otherwise known as Bobby Syntax, and today is Monday and it's been a long day. <laughs> so we're going to get straight into things. A couple of points of order. First, you'll have noticed there is an eruption of cheetah print occurring on your screens. You're welcome. I got this new dressing robe and I kind of live, laugh, love for it. Also, there's a beret up there. There will be a full Luke coming soon. Uh, second of all, we've got a new layout. Of, of art up the top, which is great. So from my right, it's left hand lily pad, ACB art in the middle, and Luke right at the end. I will have their details and Instagrams down in the description below. If you'd like to give them a follow, that would be wonderful. Um, they have created art for me and now for the background. So um, I love it. I, I will fan out over fan art until the end of days. Um, <laughs> But we're actually here to discuss Foodie Beauty. Miss Chantelle Marie, Miss The Chantelle Show, Miss... Miss... We're back to Foodie Beauty today. <sighs> okay. It's been a long day. Oh, hello, phone. It's been a long... <laughs> it's been a long day. Editing Zach has taken four and a half hours worth of live stream content for today and edited it down to about 30 minutes worth of good and or bad content, depending on how you want to view that. We will be reacting to, well, hello there about 10 minutes of that, and dinner, about 20 minutes of that. So that's the plan for today. I need to change up my approach to how I deal with hours of content, right? Because it's a lot. Um, editing Zach doesn't have too much of a problem editing it, editing it down. That's fine. It's just, um, I feel as if at this point, the majority of foodies audience or anyone who watches me for the foodie content um, is kind of just wanting a recap, just a general premise of what happened on that day instead of having to go through option one like close to five hours worth of content option two me sitting here for what is usually a good 30 to 50 minutes just um going over things so here's the recap if you don't want to watch the rest of this video fruity woke up she's wearing the the craft shirt um there is cat hair she goes for a drive she gets starbucks a drink that she has never ordered before it's a five pump like nut, honey, caramel nut. Is it caramel nut? Toffee nut. That's it. Five pump toffee nut, half 10% light cream with cold brew. She doesn't like it. She mixes it up. Then she likes it because she can taste the sugar. Then she goes for a walk. Her service out where she normally walks is utter garbage. So we got 15 minutes of like just staticky, broken, buffered footage. Really not important. Not including it in the recap. Then there was a three hour and 40 minute dinner. Um, Foodie's high again, orders Asian fusion. It is uh, curry, chicken skewers, and egg roll. None of none of it matters. <laughs> none of it. There's not. There's really nothing important. Nothing. No. No updates. No. No. Nothing. There's a little bit of boy talk thrown in there. She's specifically talking to this. Croatian gentleman who we have nicknamed in this corner of the community um, Cameron because Cameron alliteration with Croatia. Also, there was discussion about camming, so there's all all of that fun alliteration going on. Um, and then very little else. We got a dinner with Foodie and Pete's tonight, and that was about it. So we're going to be covering some of that now. Um, I guess you're all welcome for the recap, and let's get into the video! Now, as with all recaps, we are sped up a little on this one. Also, I forgot to mention, I am going to do my night care routine because it's getting late and we'll just let it run. Anyway, here we go. Hi, guys. Hi, Fruity. So, uh, what's going on today? Today is another beautiful day. I had work, lots of work, 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 edited. Now I'm here. Having a great day. Really good day. Calories are great. Got some walking in. The sprain in my foot is slowly healing. For those of you who don't know or don't care, I stepped on my own toe, but under the same foot. So like the muscle on top of my foot got kind of stretched and sprained and awkward. It's been a little sore. It's been iced. The swelling has gone down and uh, the, most of my range of motion has returned now. So that's been my day. This jar of olives, the remnants of last night's olive bin dough. Again, for those of you who don't have the time to watch literally half a day's worth of content, um, Foodie got real high last night, ate stuff, including olives, which by the sounds of it have been left out overnight. Probably not best to eat. I had a really good morning. I had a good morning. Did you? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay. I talked to a certain somebody. Mm -hmm. Cameron. It was so sexy because I woke up to pee. Hi, everybody. I woke up to pee and I saw a message from Mr. Croatia and it was like, 
I hope Cameron missed it, Croatia. <laughs> Got it. I was like, I hope you're having the dirtiest dreams right now. And I was just like, aw. <laughs> oh my Aww. god, it's so cute. That's so hot. It's just so hot. Is it? <clears throat> okay. I just did my makeup real quick. I just like washed my face, did my makeup real quick. And um just wearing leggings and a shirt. And we're gonna go exercise. Gonna go to Starbucks. Go exercise. I'm only gonna eat once today. Probably go back to eating just like once a day. <sighs> I feel like something is being awakened inside of me. And I don't know what it is. The sexual awakening. Have a coffee. I prefer like liquids, you know, and then after I exercise, then I, you know, eat a meal of my choice and then that will be it. Like, I don't, honestly, I just don't want to be bothered with like eating, like, the only time I get really, really munchies, like I said, is whenever I get faded. <laughs> faded! I bet you're getting faded every night, love. <laughs> you're, you're up on those gummies and up on that vape every night. I'm not saying that, like, I'm not counting foodies calories. I don't care. She does s seem to be mentioning more and more calorie counts which is interesting so i'm wondering if she's counting things behind the scenes doubtful um and ultimately it doesn't matter she see on the produced content which is what we had to talk about she seems to be consuming less will it lead to weight loss probably is it healthy i don't think so but that's just my opinion in this what do you think i'm tired eyes <sighs> same mr croatia we're just really sexually compatible. Like, really, really. Not compatible. calling him that. I don't guys want to hear all about it. I don't remember anything. <laughs> what did I eat last night? God, I don't even remember. Is there a certain time to stop eating? Not really. I mean, I just... Is that a cause for concern? <laughs> it's getting so high you don't remember what you eat. A cause for concern when you're on a prescription medication that, like, fluxes with your appetite. I don't know. Is it? Someone let me know. I don't drive under the... I don't drive under the influence. Okay. You drive while high on weed. No, I don't, Peyton. I don't drive while high on weed. Okay, I don't do that. I don't smoke or take edibles and then go drive. This has been a talking point between, like, all of us across reaction channels, but also within her greater community and for Foodie now for two days. Um, it is an interesting point because there is literal video evidence of her waking up saying, oh my god, I'm so dizzy, I got so high last night, she continues to get super balls high, um, and somehow expects all of us to have a, a such an in-depth understanding of how THC gummies can affect an individual that we say, no, you're definitely under zero influence when you drive out in the mornings. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not big on the weeds, so I don't know, but like, you you done some dumb shit behind the wheel of a car in the last week or so. So hours and hours. I was sleeping. I, I'm just, uh -huh. I don't mean to sound offensive. I'm just like really like people really actually think that I do that. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> Have I driven high in the past, like years ago? Probably. Probably. I'm not gonna lie about that. I saw a video. That's the problem. If you knew you had, the lie would be yes, I have. Not probably. Oh, with the videos. They lie about me. You know? <laughs> or exaggerate. No! A lot of us... Well, she There's will continue. Things. I'm not saying always, but a lot of the time. Me? It's true. Again, not speaking for every reaction channel, just speaking about me. I don't lie about foodie. I talk about the monetized and produced... Ugh, less produced now than ever. Produced content that she chooses to put on her channel. Okay. Because you're all a bunch of weirdos, just like me. We're weird. Remember, cult status. <laughs> It feels like Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Bees. That's what it feels like with this guy. Like, the way we talk. It's just so free and so... She uses the word free here. By definition, I don't think she's read Fifty Shades of Grey. Or has taken a very concerning message away from that book. I'm not a big fan of that book in general. That's a discussion for another time. Um, but free, perhaps, is not <laughs> is not the best, best word to use in relation to that I feel story. like I can be myself. Like, it's so free of any kind of confines... Of like your bodies it's like a level of sexuality just between two beings we're not using today we're, be we're gonna be good today that was a lie <laughs> i've lost subscribers i don't know why <laughs> i'm awesome right there will be a lot of discussion about losing subscribers and probably moderators throughout this uh this piece of content i have a lot of thoughts and i've said them for the last week or so that in reality, Foodie's audience is 
just over it. <laughs> and even I, who watch Foodie for inspiration what, rather than, like, really caring about the end result of what happens to Foodie as a person, um, she, I use her content for motivation, inspiration, talking points, lots of things. Um, ultimately, yes, she's a fellow human being, and you should want the best for another human being, but also, like, it, I've reached the point where sympathy and empathy, the wells have run dry. So, like... She's losing subscribers because her audience isn't seeing what they want to see. In essence. Should we go to Starbucks? Is that, is that really like the size names in Italian? Is that what the thing is? Uh, no. I'm pretty sure <laughs> because tall is one of them, which I do not believe is a derivative of a, of a volume measurement or size. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's just like Starbucks wanting to have a cute, quirky marketing thing that forces you to learn their own language, which in turn kind of like makes it sit in your brain in a, in a, in a way. Look, marketing and branding, really interesting conversation to have. Probably not with foodie though. If I blocked you guys, just email me. My breathing sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you might hear it now. It's not breathing. Oh. Oh, this is... I believe I kept... <laughs> Sorry, I, editing sec, <laughs> kept that clip in for... Uh, for a, a note on how not to produce <laughs> good content. Um, visually, nothing's happening. Audibly, kind of nothing's happening either. This is what... Foodie is expecting her audience to sit through. Foodie's expecting her audience to be a true supporter and sit through literally what? I would say a good 40% of the content, probably more, 60% of the content is just dead air. Anyway. What am I eating today? That's okay, my stomach doesn't touch the steering wheel anymore. <laughs> okay, go. I lemonade, the refresher is good. But I don't want to have two drinks. <clears throat> An alarm. I would like everyone just to just to make note that Foodie's second phone that she seems to have with her today and probably has with her quite often is capable of setting the alarm. So um, she doesn't even really need to ask a moderator or an audience member to set an alarm for her, which she has been doing quite consistently. Literally just use your second phone. And you have. So we know you can. Very good. I'm not even in the fucking lineup yet at the actual place. Mm -hmm. I hate when, they, when people beat their horn if somebody's taking one time. Like, they're probably overwhelmed. We're not fucking break. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna tell those people to stop talking. Hello? Hi. Hi. Don't come to Starbucks? Hi, um, yes. Can I have a venti? Um, do you have, um, cold brew coffee with, like, can I add flavor to it? Yes. Okay. Can I get a venti cold brew, um, with extra ice and coffee nut flavor? Uh, would you like a meal pencil or not? Um, yes, please. Or can I get cream? Cream? Yeah. Okay. Please? Would you like heavy cream or light cream? Um, light cream? Light. Light cream, 10% or 35%. Uh, ten percent, okay. Okay. Uh, and, uh, can I get extra ice? Yes, please. Okay. And, and venti cold brew with the cream, extra ice and bottle? And with toffee nut flavor? How many? Um, five. Okay. Toffee. Uh, and uh, just a venti ice water, please, and that will be all. Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, that's everything. See you out the window. Thank you. You're welcome. I just want to make a note here that, one, because of a super complex order that she uh, basically decided on through chatocracy in an earlier clip, um, she has also held up the cast behind her because it's, it is it, it, it is what it is, um, because she has to consistently ask questions that she doesn't know the answer to, which is fair, but, um, but just wanted to make a note of that. Um, also, as someone who doesn't drink a lot of coffee with dairy, light cream with coffee <laughs> seems like a lot. <laughs> seems like a lot, but okay. Um, and five pumps of syrup. Very good. What the hell is this one? That's like the cheapest thing that Starbucks has ever had. What did I eat? Did I like overdo it last night? When I the munchies? What did I have? Just, just more, just more note really for me that she doesn't remember. 
what she did last night. If she can't remember what she ate last night, I doubt she would be remembering the conversations that she's having last night. Because last night's conversations were hard to get through. That's why we didn't cover it. Oh, sorry, mister. Damn. Yes. Venti cold brew with cream, extra ice, five pumps. Let's try it. Fuck. There's no sugar. It's Doesn't at the like bottom. Sugar. It's at the bottom. <laughs> Damn it. Five pumps. You just took a sip of cold brew. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna mix it. Excellent. I don't see anything. Oh. Alright. I think a little bit of coffee in it. Alright, it's a little better. Mm. Eight! Not even Rudolph, I shouldn't tell. Why are you so nasty to bees? I. I bring it on myself, yeah. really. He deserves it. I do. When have you ever been nasty to peace? I'm not nasty to peace. You are streaming a lot, I know. Look, a lot of these things that are going to get mentioned have been mentioned a lot over the last few days. So if you've missed out on Foodie, I mean, we're here for a recap. Um, it is interesting just to make a point of reference that her, her audience is kind of seeing... A little bit of nastiness from shade, uh, from foodie <laughs> to pizza. I was trying not to say shade. Um, so that's a curious, a curious thought to kind of unpack as we go. But also, yeah, it's interesting to see the relationship in today's video, particularly obviously the clips that editing Zach has cut out for us to enjoy. Who me? I never met anybody on Tinder. Oh, you well, I had to. Ah, so she said she never met anybody on Tinder. And I was like, wait, didn't you say you met Nick? So was Nick maybe not on Tinder? Maybe Nick was on Plenty of Fish. Or she forgot. Or it's all a lie. But he's better. Who knows? Remember I kept eating them last night? Yes. I think this is all I have left. I have one of these. One. One. I have some of these left. You're getting- She's been beezing on gummies all week. No one can count them. Because it's impossible. And it doesn't really matter. But has she gone high every night? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Hey, normal vlogs this week. Okay. On stream. Hi, on don't stream. Don't say any every, names out loud. Every night. And don't read my sexy messages. I'm just joking. boo in the kitchen. boo boo Fuck is that? Sorry. <laughs> food. She got a little mad because the food was running late, I think. Gonna <laughs> make a meal plan. Get back on track. I don't want to. All right, let's just say I lose two pounds a week. That's what? Yep. Ten pounds? That's eight pounds a month? So, hold on. On average, probably a bit more. I only call you when it's hard. So that would be... Oops. Which is... Eight times 12. That's 96 pounds. It's 104 pounds over a year, though, because two pounds a week by 52. Probably a more accurate measure. Yeah. So 104 pounds in a year. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to eat at the food market here. <laughs> it is good. Fingers crossed. I need another edible. Are they These are my favorite. Hi, Annie. Why do I get high? I like it. <laughs> uh, cool. There's probably not a lot to unpack there. Why do you get high? Because I like it. Why do you eat shitty food? Because it makes me feel good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not again. I'm not a professional. Who the fuck am I? But like, it just seems like I don't. We all know what it seems like. I hate eating slow. I'm taking my time. Life's too short to eat slow. You know. I have a hard disagree with that. Um, the way I lost weight was by being a lot more mindful of what I was eating, which included introducing like timers, not physical restrictions based on time specifically. There was IF, but that's a different conversation. Um, I meant like when I'd finish a meal, I would, sorry, when I finished making a meal, I would put it down, set out my cutlery, put a glass of water down, like put down a napkin, do all of those things, make it a little bit more ritualistic because it just allowed me to appreciate all the efforts I put in. Can't really appreciate too much effort when you rip open a paper bag and just, like, go to town. But, you know, this mentality might work for her. Who who knows? I just I just don't think, um, like, speed while eating is, is 
it says. Time left. I feel in a hurry. <clears throat> Calm down. Things will come to you. Well, we are doing a travel bucket list. So first item is, well, we're going to put your OBs on there. Um, I want to go on a safari. Oh, yeah. Staying at Giraffe Manor. Sorry, I have something in my eye. The first I've um, heard of this. Having sex on a beach. <clears throat> um, having sex in a public washroom. You at a club, at a crowded club, really hammered. I'll be honest. I don't even, really, I don't even want to go public washroom. What a Maybe list. Yeah, what else is on my bucket list? Mile High Club. Oh yeah, with like a random person, like a stranger. No, that's not. But that's gross. Yeah, you don't know the person. Like, what if they have? Okay. Um, <clears throat> skinny dip. I did that many times. I love it. Bucket list is all sex. Oh yeah. Well, there's like a sub bucket list of all sex stuff I need to do. Most plain bathrooms are small. Sand in the butt. <laughs> True. You know what? Uh, base camp. I want to go to base camp. Taking your own boxes to the trash. No! Wants to go to base camp of Everest, assumably. Doesn't want to take her own boxes down to the curb. That trappies. Carrying your own parcels? Up the stairs? No, no, these are... No, this is bucket list things. I know. Wouldn't you like to see what it's like to carry your own uh, parcels? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shady Pete's. But she's just kidding. I have to tell you guys something. I can't tell Pete's. So I'll tell you after. Not bad. Nope. Is it embarrassing? No. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's not, it's, um, it's sexual. It's something somebody said to me. I think it's fucking amazing. And you think I'm going to be offended? I don't know if it's, like, weird to talk about sex in front of you and stuff, you know? I think it's weird. I think the entire dynamic is weird. I think the entire relationship is weird. Because I could never... But if you ask me, it's weird. I don't know me. <clears throat> well, <sighs> so the Croatian guy said something that was. I remember I told you he's very, very descriptive with sex talk. Like he's very. <clears throat> yep. I'm telling them. I'm telling them because I don't want to tell you about it. <laughs> I was, well, he said something. I don't know why, but it's probably the most... Just it, kidding. I don't know. Like, when anyone else would say it, I would think they're probably a fucking pervert or something. But the way he says it is so, like, amazing. It was, like... <laughs> it's it's vulgar. So if you're young or you're offended easily, you don't want to hear it, then just block your ears. As a content creator, it's your responsibility. So you should really, like, restrict this live stream to adult only. But, you know, you won't. So... Something about... Just professional YouTuber things. Like, he was describing, like, a scenario, like a sex scenario. And uh -huh. at the end, he was like, as I... As I fuck your pretty face. I don't know if it's like the pretty face thing that was that I liked about the whole comment. Like, oh, you're calling me pretty? Or is it like... <laughs> it's a lot to unpack if it was. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like... So <laughs> he, but he called me pretty. Uh, okay. No, I don't know what it is. That must be it, right? Like, what would it be? I don't know. That was just... I don't know. That, that's a hot statement right there. That was... That you're just, telling like, the story. tangle all over. <laughs> okay. I keep thinking about it. And I keep smiling about it the way he said it. And I was just like, oh, okay. So now you know why. It's <laughs> so awkward, I know. Whatever. You're okay? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like talking about a sex life when I know somebody who, like, to somebody who doesn't really have one because I don't know how they feel about that. No, it's true. Like, you know. Ow. No. <laughs> and you're not wrong, but ow. The Uber Eats guy thanked us for the tip, so he likes me. <laughs> not how that works. I, I might, I might okay. start my own sex podcast. Like I said, I like putting wigs on and talking about it. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Editing Zach will not be able to cover that. <laughs> it's, that's where Editing Zach taps out. I don't think he could, he could handle a sex podcast with Chantal. I, I don't think he could. <laughs> Hello. Vous avez raison. <laughs> I get so many notifications. I need to turn them off when I do live streams. I always forget. Yes, you should. Again, professional YouTuber. <laughs> It'll be a love test. If, if I ever get with somebody like in a relationship, which I don't think will happen, but that would be a test. If you can handle me and my Sam voice. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. joking. Statistically speaking, you're probably going to do a live stream on Tuesday, and you're probably going to get high on Tuesday during that live stream. <laughs> so, to fix this, uh, just, you were probably going to be doing a, uh, a high live stream on Tuesday regardless of the date. Because it's 420, but also, he's not wrong. Well, I'm trying to unmod somebody. Oh, remove moderator. That was easy. All right. <laughs> that was easy. I just had to click it. Remove moderator. That's totally cool. Like, no hard feelings. <laughs> I'll take your fucking... No, no, it's okay. Like, I had a lot of moderators anyways, you know, so 
I don't need to replace anybody. I'm just good with how it is then, you know? We'll just leave it. <laughs> Marissa. Yeah, don't, like, listen, you don't have to. You don't have to say. If you don't want to, it's okay. So she, a moderator requested to be unmoderated. And from my understanding and editing Zach's understanding, uh, Joe was saying, I'm, I'm leaving. Not in a sense of like, I'm leaving, leaving because he's a pillar of her community. <laughs> it sounds so strange to say. Um, leaving, I think, just in reference to the time right now. You know? <laughs> like, I'm so not into drama. If, whatever you want, I'll do for you. Like, if you don't want to be a moderator, that's fine. I mean, that's totally cool. No hard feelings for real. I really, really don't mind. Or, mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't like these streams and don't want to watch them, you don't have to. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, Not really, because yesterday you were saying that you weren't going to do a recap and you weren't going to do a summary, which is kind of where I had the idea to do that starting recap of today's video. Um, you weren't going to do a recap and you weren't going to do a summary because if your audience didn't have time to sit down through your four to six hours, eight hours, 12 hours um, worth of daily live streams, then... Like, they weren't, what, true and loyal subscribers? Foodie, this might be the reason why you're losing subs. Just saying. Live my life the way I want to live it. Not everyone's going to brew the way I live my life. That happens. You know, like, it's called conflict of interest. Everyone... I don't think that's what that is. I think that's just having a, a disagreement. That, uh, because not only is... It, see, this is where it's tricky to talk about because yes, it is your life. Yes, it is um, like vlog style content, live stream style content, I guess, IRL. Can we just call this IRL streaming now? Um, it is that form of content, which means it is all based on your life, but also you are a content creator. So although you are not directly responsible to your audience, you certainly should create content based on what perhaps people would enjoy versus what people verbally and vocally, sorry, um, have kind of issue with. I don't get down with what you're doing and wants to judge you for something like that and be judgmental, well then that's their right to do that. And <clears throat> they don't have to agree with your lifestyle. So, you know, we're all different. So whatever. <laughs> it's not just about your lifestyle though, love. It's about the content that you create. And Fruity should feel actually quite, um, quite lucky because for a lot of content creators, they don't have the opportunity to see the outcry from their audience when it comes to trying new things or creating new content or doing different styles of content. Um, and it honestly, foodie has been given quite a wide berth of time between produced content and live content. And her, like, I don't go into the chat because I care about my own mental health, but I see it now and then, especially in this form of content where she just, speaks the question a lot of the time or speaks the comment um and you can tell that there is a large portion of the audience who just isn't happy with these hour long hours and hour long live streams of just nothing no content bring me recipes bring me vlogs bring me cat content bring me a hobby bring me anything even the walks are fun right i skip over them because there's usually only no talking points in them but um at least from a reaction standpoint but bring me something that like has some some context context content to it rather, and that isn't just you sitting here reading chat because that's all it is. That's all it is. Sitting here eating, getting high as butts, reading chat every day. You know what I mean? Like that's just the way I look at it. There's no point in getting upset over things that are just not worth it. You know? Not upset. Just saying things <laughs> I would like to see. Oh my goodness. So um. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I'm too <laughs> buzzed. I'm interacting with you guys. What are you talking about? <clears throat> I'm so vaguely. Um, I don't have Instagram. That's what's up. Chicken and broccoli. Mm, chicken and broccoli is good. Uh, it is good. <laughs> I'm gonna be so relaxed tonight. When I discovered masturbation, I thought of Keanu Reeves once. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, editing Zach. <laughs> I'm not ignoring anybody. I didn't see Joe's comments. I'm I, I'm so like the French say, um, "Je suis dans la lune ce soir." <laughs> I'm in space. Oh, Joe, I can't. Scroll. That means she's fucking big, yo. 
I can't scroll up. I just can't. Just send it to me in a private message. Professional YouTuber. You should listen to Andy P. Okay, so what is going on here? What are people mad about? People are saying I'm mean and demeaning. <laughs> what? People saying you are ignoring others? Oh. Do people actually think I can pay attention to every single one of you? Every single one of you? You guys, oh, I'm gonna. Okay. First of all, that. Second of all, I just want to make a note and say that if you are building your content entirely based on interacting with your chat, then yeah. People are going to call you out if you only interact with the same five to ten people. And they are all foodies moderators. And that is a conversation that is out there in the landscape currently. So even if you are a true and loyal fan, supporter, whatever the hell she wants to call them, um, you're probably not going to get noticed. You're at least the chat environment is less block heavy by the sounds of it. But at the same point, like, why would you, why would you, why, why would you want to be part of an audience where the content is built up entirely on interacting with the chat when you're just going to be ignored anyway? Like, okay. I wouldn't. Your beezers. I can't. Uh, I like that everyone's here, like, hanging out. I just don't uh, know what, like, someone was like, people are mad at you. I'm just like, why is that for? Like, what did I do? I'm not ignoring people. Like, I don't understand. Mandy thinks we're dumb as hell. Uh, they're the dumbest idiot she's ever heard. <laughs> and they're not funny, edgy, or tuned in. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Pizza's reading Twitter. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, she used to like me, but now she realizes I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> and that you're losing subs because of me. What is going on, like, with my subs drama? So, why all of a sudden, just like, people are just like, yeah, that's it. Like, what did I do differently? Like, <laughs> that's your gross. You know, I've always been gross. I've been on YouTube for like three years, so I've always been gross. Why are people unsubbing now when they've subscribed to me from when I knew I was gross? God, it's almost like people unsubscribing to you in droves should be a message to say, hey, what you're doing isn't being taken very well by, you know, the audience who are still watching you. Because you got to also think about it. Foodie's been around for four to five years. Um, she has created a lot of content, and a lot of the subs that she have probably aren't active and probably aren't watching currently. So although she's still got that like 86,000 K number, she's certainly not pulling in those views. She's maybe pulling in a quarter of those in, in regards to viewers. So like, yeah, if you, let's say you had, let's do some basic math. If you had 20,000 active subscribers and you lost 500 subs in a month, like, I don't know. I would probably start to question, you know, what I was doing in regards to content creation and maybe maybe pivoting a little bit, maybe moving away from this format and back towards those big numbers. But then again, those big numbers were based on mukbangs and we all know how Zach feels about that. So, but just interesting YouTube things to talk about. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm not aware of something here. Being high makes people unsubscribe. Well, like I said, some people are anti edibles. I'm just like I'm, happy. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just coasting. I'm just. I don't think it's the highness, although that <laughs> your highness. Um, I don't think it's the highness really that is upsetting the majority of people. I think, especially the vocal people in her chat. I think it is just the format. I think it's the change in format and the consistency of this seems really lazy and like there's no effort and why should I even be engaging in the chat if I continuously get ignored? Um, this content isn't for me anymore. And it, it's probably not for many people, but I can't imagine there is a large audience of people who want to check out a new content creator, for instance, that has three lives a day totaling, you know, five hours worth of content, because where are you going to jump on board with that? Where, like, how are you going to pick up the narrative? How are you going to be introduced to this YouTuber? And I honestly don't think Foodie's even thought of that. Foodie hasn't thought about growing her channel by any means. It's just, she's just going to bees. And bees away she will. <laughs> I'm not even saying anything controversial. So, you know, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna do me anyway. If I wanna, if you're, if people are concerned about me doing edibles, don't even bother messaging me about it. Or I don't know, I don't, I don't really, you know, like if you disagree, that's fine. But for me, I love edibles, and 
This is the phase I'm going through in my life right now. It's just like the health. It. It's illegal here. Um, it's not impeding on my life in any way. I mean, really, um, <laughs> you know, like, so. I would argue that a loss in subscribers is going to impede in your in your life, um, as as does the audience's outcry in regards to getting behind the wheel in a considerable state or hands off the wheel in in that case. Um, yeah, I think that I think that the level of highness and on cameraness that you're partaking in may have some impact in your day to day life. But I'm hanging with you guys right now during COVID is um, entertaining to me and it must be entertaining to some people because there's people here watching so I don't understand what the fucking problem is I can consider it entertaining but I can also like be do, be doing a concern <laughs> for the individual who's on the other side of this again context if this were all scripted narrative if this was a were a sitcom is what I kind of always go back to if it were it would be boring as batshit but because it is an actual individual and they are showcasing their real produced life. Um, it is interesting to unpack, discuss, and take motivation from because I, more so now, I don't want to be in this situation <laughs> ever. Um, interesting, not entertaining, I would argue. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I look back at my videos the next day. Mm -hmm. Am I embarrassed? Not for very long. <laughs> Okay, and there we go. Well, we're all caught up for the Sunday shenanigans. Like I said at the start of the clip, there's really not that much going on. Even after the cut down, those were the best and or worst, most interesting bits, and there just isn't a lot there. So, yeah, I guess that's where we're at with the recaps for now. We'll see what the rest of the week brings. There was some conversation that was cut out uh, in, reg in regard to more filmed content she said that'll be coming this week at some point allegedly um probably like the baker's rack we won't see it for weeks on end but who knows who knows what tomorrow will bring anyway if you got to this point in the video thank you so much for joining as always i appreciate your comments opinions and eyeballs and i will see you in the next video and or live stream bye